Just seeing through the propaganda isn't enough. We've got to open our hearts as well. Humanity doesn't just need to escape from the mental prison of imperial indoctrination. It needs to escape from the heart prison as well. I'm always talking here about the need to fight empire propaganda to help the public awaken to the fact that everything we've been trained to believe about the world is a lie. Because that insight, taking root in sufficient numbers, would be the first step toward the revolutionary changes our world so desperately needs. But large numbers of people opening their eyes to the reality of mass-scale psychological manipulation by the powerful would by itself be insufficient, because people need not only to see the truth, they also need to care. Realizing the depravity and immense human suffering the U.S. centralized empire is responsible for creates an opportunity to respond to this insight with horror and begin resisting it, but it is only an opportunity. At that juncture, it's still possible for someone to realize that we're not being told the truth about what's happening in the world, but decide to play along with the lies anyway, either because the existing world order has made them wealthy, or because they are too indoctrinated with support for Western power structures, or because they ideologically support Israel, or because they're afraid of the changes and upheaval that would come with an overturning of the status quo, or because they are intellectually and morally lazy, or for some other reason. Realizing that you've been indoctrinated into accepting a pernicious status quo unlocks an important door within yourself. But just because that door is opened doesn't mean you have to walk through it. Walking through it requires another kind of awakening. An awakening of the heart. Really, no amount of knowledge or intellectual insight will ever set us free as a species in and of itself. You could upload the sum total of human knowledge into the brain of everyone on Earth, including even government secrets that aren't public knowledge. But unless this is accompanied by a collective opening of the heart, it wouldn't make any difference. Unless people can find it within themselves to care deeply about the horrific things our rulers have been doing to our fellow human beings, no amount of knowledge about those things will catalyze real change. And there are plenty of people who know but don't care. The most powerful government agencies in the world are run by people who know terrible secrets about our ruling power structures that we ordinary members of the public are not allowed to know. But because their loyalty is to the empire and not to humanity, they don't care about the moral implications of what they know or the human suffering the empire is responsible for. So the demand of this moment in history is not just to understand, but to care. Not just to know what's wrong with the world, but to feel it. Not just to awaken on the level of the head, but to awaken on the level of the heart as well. Not just to value our own personal understanding, but to value humanity as a whole. Knowledge of the truth can lead to a profound compassion for the victims of the globe-spanning power structure which rules over us, and a determination to oppose its cruelty. That's why said power structure pours so much energy into keeping everyone propagandized. But it doesn't necessarily need to lead to such compassion. The light of truth can stop its expansion at the gates of the heart, unless there's some willingness from somewhere deep inside us to throw those gates open. Ultimately, humanity just needs to wake up, on every level. We need to liberate ourselves from the shackles of propaganda. We need to liberate ourselves from the shackles on our hearts. We need to liberate ourselves from the shackles of the ego. We need to liberate ourselves from the shackles of the dualistic perspective which obfuscates the oneness of all reality from our vision. That's what's being asked of us at this juncture. To wake all the way up and become a conscious species. That's the only way we're ever going to be able to move about on this planet in a healthy and harmonious way. And we'll either rise to the occasion or we won't. We'll either wake up or we'll destroy ourselves. I believe we have the freedom as a species to go either way.